Hello everyone, I just got a message uh, a couple of days ago from Bleeby42 asking uh, if I could do the beat repeat stuff in English too, if I got time and uh, yes, I got time to do this. So um, for you who, for the guys of you who are just uh, just clicked on this video, please follow the introduction, the introduction uh, video in English first. Uh, because this tutorial is building up on this one. Okay, nice one. first thing you need to do um, Create a new patch or use a patch uh, you already got in Oscillator um, And then if you can see on the screen now um, I used the B button and I'm gonna go to the B button gonna choose uh, MIDI node as an event type uh, just gonna put the value to zero uh, for now on channel one and what I'm gonna use is uh, the role uh, of the Wii as an event type as you can follow on the cursor now as a MIDI CC, which is a control type, which is different to a MIDI node. It sends a value from 0 to 127. And I'm gonna set this one to 0 as well, because this one is a MIDI control now. It's not gonna interfere with the MIDI node. Yeah, so these are two different uh, value types I'm sending. Okay, let's go to Ableton. So, um, I just inserted, insert, inserted, a beat loop, as you can see here. Right, and I'm gonna drop the beat repeat effect on the audio track 1. Okay, very important is that your interval is on one bar. For, well, it's not important if you want to gain the effect I'm getting, this is important. Okay, you switch on the repeat. And then you want to go, you want to activate no triplets for this effect as well. Um, we now are going to sync up the grid button to the roll. Yeah? So, if you remember on the oscillator one, we synced the roll to the MIDI control zero yeah and as you can see um, there is a green button which means there is a signal which is which uh, well there is a signal generated so if I just move it a bit it's synced already yeah okay let us go to Ableton again we choose the MIDI sync up control um, by Apple M or go to the MIDI button just on the right uh, upper corner in your Ableton on your screen. Okay, now we are in the MIDI syncing. I choose the grid and because uh, there is a signal sent, so just by just by a little bit of moving. Uh, it's automatically synced up if I choose the grid. Yeah. Okay, let's go back. Oh, as you can see, it's already synced up. Yeah, to my movement, the grid is already synced up to the Wii movement. Yeah. Cool. Okay, next thing, or oh, something which is really annoying. Um, because your Wii remote is sending uh, these, uh, for example, these roll movements uh, all the time, so even if I'm not moving, or even if, if the Wii remote is just laying on my table, signals in, which can interfere when you want to uh, sync up stuff uh, with, for example, the B button, what we want to do now. So, um, you need to switch off, in Oscillator, you need to switch off the roll. Yeah, so no MIDI signal is now sent into Ableton. So if I move the the Wii now, um, the grid isn't uh, changing. Yeah, 
as you can see down here the grid is not responding to the Wii. Right, um, yes we wanted to sync up the B button to the beat repeater on off control which I do by going into the MIDI control surface. I choose the on off button on the beat repeater and I just press the B button yeah and it's done okay now I can control the on off button with the B button yeah you get it cool uh, we now need to switch on the roll in oscillator yeah we go back to Ableton and what's happening now is uh, the grid is controlled as you, as you might see and the beat repeater on off is controlled by clicking the B button and that's really how easy it is if I press play now okay um, one thing, um, if you want to, well, really interesting for the inside the beat repeat effect is um, the mix option um, or the ins option, which probably means instrumental, um, I don't know, well, the mix one uh, means um, if you loop uh, is playing it's gonna run and if you start the beat repeat it's gonna be um, the, the chopped up bits are gonna be on the top or just gonna be on the same um, gonna gonna be there as well so um, if you wanna cut them up really and just have the cut it uh, samples in there you have to go on to instrumental uh, let me show you the difference Yeah, classic effect. Um, let me show you the difference to the mix one. So the loop is gonna keep playing in the background. Yeah, so both both uh, things are playing now. Uh, so the loop keeps on playing, and the chopped up bits uh, through the beat repeater are. Um, here we as well. You can change uh, the volume of the chopped up bits just down here uh, at your volume control and your beat repeat. Um, okay, so far I think uh, that should help you a bit. Um, have a play around with the filter and the pitch and the pitch decay in the beat repeater. You can make really, really cool stuff with it. Okay.